Hey everybody, I'm Jason from PyQuant News. I teamed up with Interactive Brokers to bring you a short course on using Python with the Interactive Brokers API. Today, we're going to build a trading app with Python, of course, using the IB API. So first off, a little bit about me. Yes, I am Jason, and that is my son, Tucker. I started my career as a hedge fund trader in Chicago about 20 plus years ago. I then moved on to be a credit quant and an energy derivatives trader. I became a market risk quant and the same energy derivatives trader, but in London, I was an engineering and analytics manager at a metals trader in Singapore. And I've been trading on interactive brokers for I think over 12 years now. And I founded PyQuant News in 2015. So what's PyQuant News? Well, PyQuant News is where I publish high value social media content on publish on Twitter and LinkedIn. I also have a free twice weekly newsletter that anybody can sign up for over 120 high quality Python tutorials, all free dozens of long form articles. And I have a popular Python course for quant finance. In fact, I'm launching a new course called Python foundations in December. And this is designed to get people that have very little Python experience up to speed with what I call the Python quant stack which is the computational finance and statistics libraries as fast as possible. Okay. That's coming up in December. I definitely encourage you to join the waitlist at pyquantnews.com slash foundations slash join. And by joining, you can get a 50% discount on the launch price. Okay. What are we doing in this short course? Well, we're going to introduce a technical indicator called a don't chin channel and use, explain how it's used in trading. We are going to introduce the Pandas Python library used for data manipulation, used in conjunction with the Interactive Brokers API. And of course, we are going to build a trading app in Python using the IB API. So this first section is introducing the course, and then there'll be a series of additional videos actually getting into the code. So stay tuned for sure. First off, what is a Donchian channel? Well, a Donchian channel tries to determine breakouts and a breakout is when a price or price action is trending at a certain level either up or down and at some point it breaks out and trends higher and rallies either up or tanks down and what we want to do as traders is obviously get ahead of that so that we can ride the wave up or exit short positions or we can get short or get out of our long positions if the opposite is true here. So you kind of see this graphical depiction of prices that are closing above this upper channel level. And as you can see in the chart here, the prices just continue to rise. So it's a trend following indicator widely used by traders to identify trends, breakouts, and trading opportunities. And it consists of three key levels or lines. The first is this upper band, which is what you're seeing here. This is the highest high over a specified period of time. The middle band, or excuse me, the lower band is the lower low over the same period of time. And then the middle is just the average between the two. Okay, pretty simple to understand. And we'll see how this is all coded up in Python. So what is Pandas? Pandas is a Python library that is designed for data manipulation and analysis. It provides two main data structures called a data frame and a series, and it handles structured data. So think about an Excel spreadsheet. That's kind of what we're dealing with with Python. If you happen, or excuse me, Pandas, if you happen to be an R developer or have experience with R, it's the exact same situation with R. We have a data structure called a data frame. It's a way to manage and manipulate structured data. Pandas is ubiquitous in the data sciences and the trading arenas. Specifically for its data handling capabilities, it makes it very, very easy to uh, process and manipulate market data. It has great features for time series data. It's got a date time index, which allows you to do all sorts of very fancy things with time series data very easily. And as we all know, dealing with historical price data is super important. Uh, it's fairly it's fairly fast. Now there are faster tools out there for super large data sets like Polar's is, is one. Uh, but Pandas is really quite good for large data sets. I wouldn't say ultra large or big data data sets, but on the order of, you know, decades of data, uh, of market data, it, it does very, very well. 
Uh, integration, as we'll see in just a minute, it, it works very, very well with, um, with the IB API. We will show you how to respond to the callback from the IB API and populate a pandas data frame to capture historical market data. And it's great for helping you customize your trading strategies, as we'll see with the Don Chan channel. Okay, just a final note on pandas. This is a third party open source library. It is not associated, supported, or managed by interactive brokers, completely independent. And if you're using Pandas with your IB API or your trading apps, interactive brokers cannot help or offer support with Pandas specifically. So keep all that in mind. Okay, in the next lesson, we will open up some code and start getting into the IB API. See you then.